Well, hey folks, research here again with level four of Civil War Secret Missions by the History Channel. Uh, this level is Sharpshooters at Devil's Den. You know what would be fun? You know what would add some engaging gameplay? What if we had the player snipe for an entire level with Civil War weapons? That sounds like fun. Does that sound like fun? Well, that's what this level is. This is a sniping level in a Civil War game. So get ready to see me hiding behind rocks and logs and trees. No men were more feared by either side of the war than the sharpshooters. These snipers were often low-ranking soldiers, recently off farms, carrying their own rifles. Before the war, they fed their families by shooting game. Now their quarry was human, and the effect they had on the enemy was devastating, killing from well-concealed positions, often reducing the opposing force to outright panic. Not surprisingly, they had a special fondness for officers, easy to spot in their shiny uniforms, often on horseback, making them excellent targets. On the second day of battle at Gettysburg, Union artillery decimates Southern ground troops. Fortunately, Confederate snipers occupy a craggy formation known as Devil's Den. It's critical they provide cover for their men down below by preventing Union artillery from firing. General Lee, I was not expecting... I have an important assignment for you, soldier. The enemy have engaged our 2nd Battalion at Little Round Top. They're outnumbered and running out of ammunition, the outlook isn't good. We're moving artillery into the area to give them relief. I need you to make sure that they succeed. Good luck. These bloody Yanks are using us for target practice. Well, that was General Robert E. Lee in uh, yet another demonstration of this game's uh, drive-by historical encounters. Uh, that uh, that set of sentences that he just delivered there was the first and last we will see of him in this entire game. So, uh, that's too bad. Not like he was important or anything. So here we go. Uh, we start out with the Whitworth sniper rifle with the full amount of ammo and a Colt pistol, which of course is not useful. So we're going to swap that for the Colt, uh, Colt rifle. Now we just got to blast away at these guys. So we're at Little Round Top. Uh, the, uh, the Devil's Den played a pretty big role in uh, Gettysburg. Now, I'm not going to get into Gettysburg on this episode. Uh, Gettysburg was very big and very important, and I'm going to devote an entire, uh, an entire supplementary uh, intermission-type video to Gettysburg. So we'll save it. But for now, this is Gettysburg. This is the Gettysburg level. And this is great. Look at this. We'll just uh, get to hide and snipe and hide and snipe. Now, this game is on console as well as PC. And on console, there are a number of uh, achievements that you can get. But I have never seen an achievement pop up in this game. So I think... The PC version doesn't have achievements, which is a little bit of a disappointment. The reason I pointed out is this level is supposedly the best level to get the headshots achievement. Whoa! Alright, we got four wounded soldiers in this level. There's our first guy. Whoa. Let's help this guy. Oh. Alright. Oh, cool. A little, little scripted physics there. That's fun. Continuing to get sniped by something. What was that? A Bowie knife? Sometimes called a Bowie knife. Famous, famous melee weapon in American history. Uh, it was invented in Arkansas, played big roles in, uh, in various conflicts, especially the Alamo there in Texas. Uh, carried by the famous Jim Bowie, and, uh, and it's it's very funny to me that they put this this knife in this game, which we already know doesn't have much of a uh, much of a melee operation here. Um, 
Let's see. Jim Bowie was a uh, was quite a character in American history. He came up with the idea for the Bowie knife by carving it out of wood, uh, delivered it to a fellow in Arkansas who then made it out of metal. Uh, but uh, let's see here. Bowie knife, Bowie knife. A couple different people claimed credit for having invented the Bowie knife, but I think people pretty much agree it was James Black there in uh, in Arkansas. Uh, they seem to pop up all over the place in early American history, which uh, which I find uh, pretty amusing here. The um, uh, the abolitionist John Brown carried a Bowie knife. Jeb Stewart carried a Bowie knife. It was actually. John Brown's Bowie knife that he had. John Wilkes Booth, the man who killed Abraham Lincoln, uh, dropped a Bowie knife as he was escaping. Buffalo Bill Cody scalped a man in 1876 with a Bowie knife in revenge for Custer. Uh, after a while, though, the Bowie knife kind of got less popular as pistols became better. So, so you see lots of Bowie knives in the early American kind of frontier type stuff, 1820s, 1830s. And by the time of the Old West, you don't really see them anymore. The uh, U.S. Marine Corps knife, the K-Bar knife, is based on the Bowie knife. Uh, that's kind of fun. So I decided... Since I have never seen that knife in any other level, uh, I think I'm going to try to stab a guy with that. But look at this. It despawned as soon as I walked away. And that is so disappointing. Let's, let's go back. Let's try this again. I want to try to use this Bowie knife. Dracula. Bram Stoker's Dracula, uh, 1897. Uh, what, what's the classic way to kill a vampire? You you sneak up on him, you stab him with a with a wooden stake through the heart, right? Well, if you've read the original 1897 vampire novel by Bram Stoker, uh, Dracula is actually killed by being stabbed in the heart with a Bowie knife. Uh, Quincy Morris stabs him with a Bowie knife, and then John Harker has a kukri knife. That, uh, that he uses to kill Dracula. So how about that? You can kill a vampire with a Bowie knife. All right, here we go. Here we go. We're going to get him. We're dodging, dodging, weaving. Why, why is this knife in this game? Why are there melee weapons at all in this game? It's a bunch of garbage is what it is. It's all fine. Pick up a Henry. We already know those work well. Get some ammo. And let's get on in there. You know, as I examine the rocks here in this level, it actually does seem to be a pretty faithful depiction of the uh, Devil's Den area in Gettysburg. But uh, the level is just annoying. All right, there's my headshot for the level. This level doesn't give you... Oh, here we go. Okay, dear friend Samuel, I write you just a few lines. It's been so blessed. Out here, the Skeeters are as big as old. Uncle Jimmy's log canoes, blah, blah, blah. All the usual stuff. So this level doesn't have much in the way of barriers to keep you in the area. But what happens is you'll start just catching damage uh, from some unknown source. You can see the little red indicators there in my vision. I'm being shot by someone, some invisible enemy. And the farther away you get from the level area, the more uh, the more damage you start to take. Uh, but it's kind of neat. They've got these little, little uh, sprite soldier guys running around way out in the background there. It's kind of a nice touch. Okay, we got to clear these guys out. Uh, so let's see, Bowie knife, Bowie knife. Um, any movie about the Alamo, you're going to see the Bowie knife, because Jim Bowie himself had his original Bowie knife at the Alamo. Nobody's really sure what happened to that knife. Jim Bowie, of course, did not survive 
the attack at the Alamo, but, um, but boy, if anybody ever came up with that knife, that would be worth something. Some people think they have it. Uh, the first three Rambo movies. Uh, first Blood, Rambo First Blood 2, and Rambo 3. Uh, he's got Bowie knives in those movies. Uh, and then the, the famous Crocodile Dundee, that's not a knife, this is a knife thing. Yeah, that was also a Bowie knife. Uh, and, and shooter games seem to really like them. I, I believe there are a few uh, Bowie knives in the Call of Duty games. Uh, you'll see them in various other games. They're, they're, they're iconic. Uh, they're very interesting looking pieces of equipment. All right, we're doing pretty well on uh, helping dudes. You know, I, I understand they're trying to create a sense of urgency with this level, but I, I'm just not feeling it. This whole thing is stale. I'm just sitting in this little valley and guys are spawning all around. It, it just seems a bit contrived. All right, here's the artillery. We've got to clear out the artillery. Now, I have made the mistake in the past of just shooting these closer Union guys. You can see shooting at me and wondered why I was still in this level 30 or 40 minutes later. Those guys will just continue to respawn until you shoot all the cannons. So you've got to clear the artillery and then you can shoot these other guys. Otherwise, the level does not progress. At least they didn't introduce sway in this game. That would make this very frustrating. Watch out! You know, the Whitworth, it's a good looking gun. I enjoy using it. But this is a Civil War game. It takes a while to reload these things. And I am spending the majority of my time just hiding behind things. This is this is not my idea of engaging gameplay. Also, my buddy's voice lines are great. He keeps saying things like, there's something wrong here. We ain't alone. Something ain't right. I mean, we're in a firefight. Charging with bayonets. Retreat, there's too many of them. Move, he says, but they never come. You can stand here all this time. Nobody, nobody shows up. They just continue to spawn up there far away. But we'll pretend that we're running from a bayonet charge and just hurl all our grenades. There's one more wounded soldier, but I can never find that guy. So I'm not going to worry too much about it. Yep, that uh, bayonet charge is pretty serious. They're, they're sure coming. Wahoo. And that's it. That's the whole level. Oh boy. You know, I'll give credit where it's due. I appreciate that someone made a Civil War game, but they sure run out of content quick for a game that's only 11 levels long, plus a bonus level. So there it was, level four. And uh, next level will be another uh, Civil War game. 
than this one, History of Civil War Secret Missions. And see you next time.